From a hole in the ground to the weirdest touchdown ever, buckle up for a journey through the 20 strangest moments in NFL history. First, witness the magic of your favorite football game coming to life on the field. A pass is caught, and Madden has never felt more real. But hold on tight because Z Jones is about to defy the laws of gravity. The ball sails incomplete off his fingertips, leaving us in awe. Is Z Jones an official NPC? Not quite, but unlike Marcus Mariota, who once threw a touchdown pass to himself, Z Jones takes it to the next level. Crossing the line of scrimmage, it's a flea flicker back to him for a touchdown. Four points for the touchdown pass and six points for the catch. Every fantasy football player's dream. And if that isn't bizarre enough, over the years, we've seen touchdowns from everyone. Offensive linemen, kickers, even Jacob Myas. But one moment truly takes the cake. Watch as Evan Ingram swiftly connects underneath, turning the corner with lightning speed. Suddenly, there's a black cat on the field. Panthers, take note. Rumor has it they offered this cat a one-year contract. They could use the extra paws on the team. Sneaking onto the field is one thing, but pulling down your pants on national television. Now, that's a whole new level of boldness. Enter Randy Moss, in for a touchdown. He takes the route to the moon. With the grace of someone not really able to run, he shoots the moon to the F. Someone, please get that man some toilet paper. Yet, the craziness doesn't stop there. Odell Beckham Jr., his celebrations are just as wild. While Randy Moss's celebrations are well-planned and coordinated, OBJs are just plain bizarre. Slap. Back up. Back up. This script rewrite is as unpredictable as the NFL itself. Touchdown and back to the net. The holy grail. It's a shame the two broke things off. But hold on tight because the next moment teaches us exactly why celebrating might not be the best idea. Picture this. Your team is trailing by 25 points late in the fourth quarter. It's deflating, right? Not for Lamar Houston. Sacking Tom Brady makes everything else feel relevant, or so he thought. Down he goes after the first sack of the game. But let's not go overboard on the celebration. Though, looks like he might have gotten a bit too excited. One second you're sacking to goat, and the next you're tearing your ACL. Talk about a roller coaster of emotions. Now, I'm not saying anything is more embarrassing than, well, you know, but things can get weirder. Imagine your star receiver running out of the stadium shirtless. Yes, that's Antonio Bro, without his uniform, giving the crowd a peace outside. Stun and practical jokers at their finest. And guess what? He wasn't the only player breaking the rules because Pat McAfee, the king of rule breaking, once kicked an onside kick without his coach's permission. The result? An onside kick recovery, making them the only team in the league that year to successfully hit an offside kick. McAfee is a savage and a genius. Yet, Juju Smith-Schuster isn't just a savage. He's turning into a nightmare. String drama on the field is one thing, but off the field, he's getting in touch with his feminine side. Catching passes on Sundays and catching the internet by storm with his TikToks on Mondays. It's gotten so wild that fans have even dubbed him the TikTok boy. But hey, in my book, he's just... It seems like the text is a transcript or narration related to various moments in NFL history, including instances involving players like Juju J, Josh Bynes, Jacoby Mears, Antonio Brown, and a fan named Yuri Andrade. The narrative humorously describes peculiar or controversial moments, such as the mention of a pregnant boy nickname, Juju J becoming a father, a mascot engulfing a cheerleader, and Antonio Brown's unconventional actions during a game. If you have a specific question or if there's something you'd like to discuss or inquire about in relation to this text, feel free to let me know. The text continues with the narrative about the streaker at the Super Bowl and the subsequent events. It then discusses the fourth weirdest moment in the Super Bowl involving Jacoby Jones' impactful kickoff return. The focus then shifts to a power outage during another Super Bowl, specifically Super Bowl Cresel VI which had a significant impact on the game between the Ravens and the 49ers. The outage lasted for a considerable amount of time, causing a delay and a shift in momentum. The mention of the 49ers catching the riff end of something indicates that the narrative is about to delve into a specific incident or series of events involving the 49ers, but the continuation is cut off with the notation the script rewrite. If you have any specific questions or if you'd like to continue with a particular aspect, 
feel free to let me know. The text describes a scenario in the 2023 NFC Conference Championship between the 49ers and the Eagles. The 49ers faced adversity, losing their starting quarterback, Trey Lance, to a season-ending injury. Despite the setback, Jimmy Garoppolo stepped in, and then later, rookie quarterback Josh Johnson took over. However, the narrative suggests that even Johnson couldn't withstand the Eagles' performance, and there was a moment of desperation where running back Christian McCaffrey was introduced as the new starting quarterback. This script then mentions a moment ranked at number two, but the information is cut off with the notation the script rewrite. If you have any specific questions or if you'd like more information on a particular aspect, feel free to let me know. The text describes various unusual and memorable moments in NFL history. It begins with the infamous wardrobe malfunction during the 2004 Super Bowl halftime show involving Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake. The narrative also touches on Timberlake's redemption in the 2014 halftime show. The focus then shifts to what is described as the weirdest moment in NFL history, which occurred during a Thanksgiving 2012 game between the Jets and Patriots. Mark Sanchez, the Jets quarterback, fumbled the ball after colliding with his own teammates behind. The text humorously refers to this incident as Sanchez's epic failure. The narrative continues with more unconventional moments, including a player landing on a teammate's rear end during a play and a blocked punt in 2022 that the text refers to as a butt punt. The overall theme suggests that the unpredictability and sometimes absurdity of the NFL make it unique and entertaining. The mention of the script rewrite at the end humorously suggests that these events are so unexpected that even script writers couldn't plan them. The text concludes with an invitation to watch more content on YouTube. If you have any specific questions or if there's a particular aspect you'd like more information on, feel free to let me know.